train by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. In your opinion, what happened to the uh, young girl that was... Ro- Ra- Ronda Rousey? Uh, yes. The Olympian girl that, you know, all of a sudden went from the sh- penthouse to the shit house. A lot of things. It's a long, long she was story. Great. I mean, I, I, I was a big follower of her. Amazing judo practitioner um, and dominant like no one else ever in women's MMA mm-hmm. up to that point, in the UFC at least. But there was some holes in her approach that were exposed by Holly Holm, the, the woman one who knocked her out, yeah, yeah. the girl head kicked her. Yeah. Holly had the perfect style to deal with Ronda's style. She's really strong, she's fast, she's an amazing athlete, and she is an outstanding striker. And so Ronda's thing was to charge at you like a fucking bull. And Holly just played the matador brilliantly, caught her, lit her up while she was coming in, and then eventually head kicked her and stopped her. Once you get knocked out like that, first of all, she was very very confident while she was the champion and some people would say arrogant and because of that there's all these people that are waiting for you to fall Mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there that don't have much confidence and when they see someone who's out there who's got a lot of confidence it's very compelling like a floyd mayweather or like Mm -hmm. a conor mcgregor their their confidence is incredibly compelling like you you want to be near them you but those people when that person loses, they're the first ones to attack. They're like, yeah, you fucking loser. I knew you were a loser. <laughs> like, you go to Ronda Rousey's uh, Instagram page and read the comments under her pictures. It's ruthless. Some fucking assholes. Just assholes. And I guarantee you, all those people are severely unaccomplished. Mm-hmm. Uh, or, or really young. Either mm-hmm. young kids that don't understand what they're doing, they just have this opportunity to be able to talk shit, or they're a bunch of fucking losers, and they're finding this opportunity to shit on someone who was this incredible, bright, shining star that fizzled out. So she lost to Holly Holm, and then she came back in a far worse matchup against Amanda Nunes. And I thought Nunes, before Holly Holm beat her, I thought Nunes was the most dangerous matchup for her. Because Amanda Nunes is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, and she has heavy, heavy hands. She's a dangerous striker. And I was like, Ronda's going to have to close the distance or to grab her and take her to the ground. And when she does, it's no fucking picnic. Because Amanda Nunes is nasty on the ground. And then getting close to her, she's got knockout power with her hands. I'm like, this is a terrible, terrible matchup. And it turned out to be right, because she got knocked out in 48 seconds in the rematch. But what she should have done is revamp her camp or not fight revamp, re, go to one of the masters. There's a few masters of mixed martial arts in this world. There's Faraz Zahabi and Matt Hume and Duke Rufus. There's a few of these striking mixed martial arts masters. And you have to go to them. You have to go to them and you have to like submit yourself and say, look, let's fix this. Let's fix whatever I'm doing and let's see if we can take this to the next level because the sport evolved and the sport passed her by like she was at the very top but if you build it it's like that field of dreams movie Mm -hmm. you build it they will come and when she built the women's bantamweight division and became this dominant force and stopped all these people and looked invincible all those women were coming up below her and they were they were getting better and they were evolving and they were like the rest of mma Mm -hmm. they were reaching this incredibly high level whereas the women's mma movement in in the early days you know, three, four years ago, if you watched women's MMA, the skill level was nowhere near commensurate with the men's skill level. Like the men's skill level at three, four years ago, they're better today, but only a little bit better. But the women are way better today than they were because it's a new thing. It's like 1997 for mixed martial arts for mm-hmm. men. That's what like three or four years ago was. But now the women have essentially pretty much caught up or close to it. There's very high level striking, very high level submissions, very high level fluid overall mixed martial arts games that you're seeing in the women's division. And Ronda, in a lot of ways, as spectacular as she was, had a very limited approach. She didn't kick, she punched, but she wasn't necessarily like the most brutal knockout puncher, and she wasn't necessarily the most skillful boxer. She didn't really have a tremendous amount of experience. What she had was incredible athleticism, a world-class mindset. She was a world-class athlete. You know, she's a former Olympian, and outstanding judo. Her judo and her arm bars are amongst the best in the world. Like sure, her transitions, the way she attacks and attacks and attacks and set things up. She's f- phenomenally talented and and you know, really accomplished in judo. But when you want to be a world mixed martial arts champion at the highest level of the game, now 
you have to be great at everything. Mm -hmm. and there's people like Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, who I think is the oh, best I, fighter I in the world. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. That guy's great at everything, and that's uh -huh. why he's the best, because you don't know what the fuck he's going to do. You don't know if he's going to kick you or knee you or take you down or strangle you or, or, yeah. or elbow you. He's just got so many options, and he's coming at you from all different directions, and he never gets tired. He's, he's the total full package. We don't have a Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson in women's MMA yet, but it's coming. It's coming. And Ronda's not that. You know, Ronda's more like maybe like a Chuck Liddell or one of the uh, early pioneers of men's MMA. Super talented, really fun to watch, but perhaps limited in their approach. Yeah, I used to enjoy Well, I enjoy Mighty Mouse now that you mentioned him. He's really, incredible. Yeah. He's incredible. You know, and there's, uh, there's so many of them now. I mean, it's just this sport is just exploding. <laughs>